Hey there, real estate enthusiasts and aspiring agents from all across the globe. Welcome back to our channel where I bring you the best tips, tricks, and strategies to ace your real estate exams, no matter what state you're in. and I'm a Florida licensed real estate instructor and I'm delighted to be the CEO and founder of Maggie's Real Estate Academy, Florida's newest and most innovative real estate school coming to you in July of 2023. At Maggie's Real Estate Academy, we are passionate about empowering aspiring real estate professionals like you to achieve your dreams. Whether you're looking to obtain your pre-licensing education complete your post-licensing requirements, or pursue continuing education as a sales associate or broker, we got you covered. With years of experience in the real estate industry, I understand the importance of quality education and the impact it can have on your success. That's why our courses at Maggie's Real Estate Academy are carefully crafted, keeping your learning experience engaging, informative, and practical. Our instructors are industry experts who are dedicated to providing you with the knowledge, skills, and insights you need to excel in your real estate career. Now that we got that covered, today we're diving deep into the fascinating world of Gross Rent Multiplier. If you're wondering what Gross Rent Multiplier is and why it's such a game changer for real estate agents, buckle up because we're about to unravel this incredible tool that will skyrocket your success in the industry. Let's quickly define what gross rent multiplier or GRM actually means. The gross rent multiplier or GRM is a way to understand how valuable a rental property is compared to the money it makes. Imagine you have a property that you can rent out to your friends. The GRM helps you figure out how much money you can get for renting out your property. To find the GRM, we look at how much money you make each year from renting the property. Let's say you make $100 in a year. Then we look at how much the property is worth. Let's say the property is worth $500. To find the GRM, we divide the value of the property, $500, by the money you make in the year, $100. When we do that, we get a GRM of five. The GRM number helps us understand that for every dollar you make in a year, the property is worth $5. If we have another property that makes $200 in a year and it's worth $1,000, the GRM would be the same, five. That means both properties are valued the same compared to the money they make. So the gross rent multiplier helps us compare different rental properties and see how valuable they are based on the money they make each year. It's like a special number that helps us understand if a property is a good deal or not. That's the gross rent multiplier explained in a nutshell. Before we dive in these mind-blowing examples, I have a small favor to ask. If you find our content valuable, if you want us to keep bringing you these top-notch tutorials and tips, I truly appreciate your support. So please show us some love by hitting that subscribe button, smashing that like button, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you're always the first to know when we drop new knowledge bombs. All right, my real estate dream team, let's dive into these examples and make sure you stay to the end because the last one is a real brain teaser. Since we know the gross rent multiplier formula is property price over gross rental income, we can change this formula and put it into a T-chart method all on its own. The T-chart method for gross rent multiplier is as such. Notice the property value has switched from the left column to the top. So now if we are given property value and the gross rental income, we will be divided and our answer will be reflected as the gross rent multiplier. If we are given the property value and the gross rent multiplier, we will also be dividing and finding our answer would be the gross rental income. 
The last calculation on the T-chart would be if we were given gross rental income and gross rental multiplier. According to the T-chart, we will be multiplying and find property value as the answer. Now that we understand a little bit more about the T-chart, let's take a look at some questions regarding gross rental multiplier. Number one, what is the gross rent multiplier? A, a measure of a property's rental income compared to its market value. B, the ratio of net operating income to property expenses. C, the number of units in a rental property multiplied by the rental price. Or D, the total income generated from a property's rental units. Press pause and I'll give you some time to answer this question. The correct answer to number one is A, a measure of a property's rental income compared to its market value. Number two, how is gross rent multiplier, GRM, calculated? A, net operating income divided by property expenses. B, gross rental income divided by property value. C, property value divided by gross rental income. Or D, property expenses divided by net operating income. Press pause to answer. The correct answer for number two is C, property value divided by gross rental income. Number three, a property has a market value of $400,000 and an annual gross rental income of $40,000. What is the gross rent multiplier or GRM? A, four, B, 10, C, 16, or D, 40. Press pause to work out your problem. In this example, I will put the market value of $400,000 at the top under property value and the annual gross rental income of $40,000 at the bottom, leaving me to divide. So if I divide $400,000 by $40,000, I get 10 as my gross rent multiplier. So my answer is B. If you're looking to elevate your math understanding and boost your chances of acing the real estate exam, I want to share something special with you. Introducing Math Skills for Real Estate Success, your ultimate companion to mastering real estate math packed with comprehensive exercises, step-by-step -step explanations, and invaluable tips this workbook is designed to help you conquer any math challenge that comes your way. Head over to justcallmaggie.com forward slash shop and grab your copy today. Trust me, this workbook will be your secret weapon in becoming a math whiz in the world of real estate. Number four, a property has a gross rent multiplier, a GRM, of eight and an annual gross rental income of $60,000. What is the estimated market value of the property? A, $480,000. B, $480,500. C, $500,000. Or D, $540,000. Pause to work out the problem. With a gross rent multiplier of eight, I will put eight in this column. And an annual gross rental income of $60,000 goes in this column. So seeing that I have to multiply now, I know $60,000 times eight equals $480,000. So my answer is A. Number five. The property at Green Acres has a GRM of 15 and an annual gross rental income of $36,000. What is the estimated value of this property? A, $400,000, B, $500,000, C, 
$540,000 or D, $600,000. Pause to work out the problem. In this problem, we have a GRM of 15, so that goes in this column, and an annual gross rental income of $36,000, which goes in the left column. Seeing that we have to multiply, I know that $36,000 times 15 equals $540,000. So my answer is C. Number six, what is the primary use of gross rent multiplier, GRM, in real estate? Is it A, evaluating investment property potential, B, calculating net operating income, C, assessing property tax assessments, or D, determining rental application approval. Pause to work out the problem. The answer is A, evaluating investment property potential. Number seven, a property is valued at $500,000 and generates an annual gross rental income of $60,000. What is its gross rent multiplier? A, 8.33, B, 10, C, 12, D, 14.5. Pause to try this out. With a property value of $500,000, I will put that on top, and it generates an annual gross income of $60,000, which I will put in the left column. So now I know I have to divide. So 500,000 divided by 60,000 equals 8.33. So my answer is A. Number eight, John's property has a GRM of nine and an annual gross rental income of $36,000. What is the estimated value of his property? A. $288,000, B, $324,000, C, $360,000, or D, $400,000. Pause to work out the problem. With the GRM of nine, I put it in the right column, and the annual gross rental income goes in the left column of $36,000. According to the T-chart method of GRM, I have to multiply. $36,000 times nine equals $324,000. So my answer is B. Number nine. A property's value is $750,000 and its GRM is 11. What is the annual gross rental income for this property? A, $55,000, B, $60,000, C, $66,000, or D, $82,500. With the property value of $750,000, that would go on the top, and a GRM of 11, which will go in the right column. According to the T-chart, we are going to divide $750,000 divided by 11 equals $68,181. So the closest number to this is C, $66,000. Number 10, a property has a gross rent multiplier of 12 and an annual gross rental income of $48,000. What would be the estimated market value if the gross rental income increased to $60,000? A, $480,000, B, $600,000, C, $720,000, or D, $900,000? In this question, we have a gross rent multiplier of 12. So we put that in the right column and an annual gross rental income of $48,000. But it says, what would be the estimated market value if the gross rental income increased to 60,000? 
So 60,000 would be our gross rental income that we would calculate. So here we would multiply. So $60,000 times 12 equals $720,000. So my answer is C. All right, my real estate dream team, thank you for joining me today on this exciting journey into the realm of gross rent multiplier. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification button so you never miss any of our amazing content. Together, we're going to conquer the real estate world one math problem at a time. Cheers, everybody.